Just drop out of sight, Cody. You can have all the money. Blame the whole thing on me. I'll give you a new identity if you want. Anything. Please. I wouldn't dirty my hands killing you. Take the armored car and get out of here. If I ever see your face again, I'll blow it off. I was wrong about Cody Teague. You should have trusted your judgment. Forget it. I know how it looks. You should have seen what it looked like higher up. You pull that stunt again, and I'll pull your badge so fast your pockets will get whiplash. Oh, was that an official reprimand? She can't give you an official reprimand. She took all the heat from your stupid moves. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I wouldn't have done it if I hadn't had my own suspicions. <laughs> yeah. So it's true. Something didn't ring right about Bonham's insistence on overriding my authority. What Bonham didn't take into account was the thick-headedness of certain highwaymen. When he realized he couldn't win, he tried to run with the money. Cody Teague stopped him. So what happened to the money? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. All 12 million? They recovered about 10,000 and changed from the fire. Are we gonna hang out here all night? I've got Cody back at the office filling out forms. You're putting Cody back on active status? I want the two of you back on the road as soon as possible. Get too attached to that outfit, Cody. What's this, jealousy? Think it looked better on you? This belong to you? Where'd you find it? Same place you hid the armored car. Guess you haven't heard. Bonham was responsible for the robbery. Well, if Bonham knew where the money was, why'd he wait two years to get it? Who knows what went through that little weasel's mind? The last thing I heard before I blacked out was Bonham calling out your name. It sure in the hell didn't come from behind me. I think you're suffering from shell shock, old buddy. Anyway, what difference does it make? All the evidence burned up in that truck. Well, we only found ten grand. I believe you hid the rest. He's grabbing at straws. Now, you didn't have enough time to take the money far. I'm sure a detailed inspection of that garage will turn it up. You're not going to leave it alone, are you? No. I paid for that money. Every red cent of it. With my family, my friends, damn near my life. But we can still walk away from this. You gotta take you in, Cody. You're not that good. And don't make me do it. New rule. Never talk back to the teacher. Are you ready to teach?
Class dismissed, kid. This morning, figure I'd give her the once over before I head out. They recovered the money in the ventilation shaft. Yeah, I uh, figured that much. Highway, I just wanted you to know. I don't know what I wanted you to know. Thank you. Oh, Cody T, he was the best there ever was. I read his record, it was very impressive. Why he decided to throw it all away is something that'll die with him. Well, yeah, sometimes you make the wrong turn, you never find your way home again. But you play, you pay. And he got what he paid for. Couldn't have turned out any other way. Boss. Thanks a lot for taking the heat for me. That was yesterday. Today I'm taking the credit. of life, big changes are in store for Natalie and the Big Apple. Then it's the winner of the People's Choice Award for Best New Comedy, My Two Dads, and a special day in time. And on the Golden Girls, it's a mixed blessing when Dorothy's son plans to marry an older woman. Then meet a 12-year-old reverend on Amen. It's all happening only on NBC.